welcome back to my channel. Welcome here if it's your first time. Today's video is packed with tips and the technique that has worked for me with maturing skin and hooded eyes. It's the one technique that I swear to you, every single time I wear this out, people ask me what's on my eyes or how I did it. So I wanted to share it with you. Hooded eyes or partially hooded eyes like I have can either be genetic or something that happens with age. And what it means is you have a little bit of skin that comes down and covers the lid of your eye. So you can see how, you can see the majority of my skin right here, but right here on the outside, this area is being covered up by the skin from my crease. So if you've watched a lot of winged eyeliner tutorials and you're wondering why your makeup comes out different, it's because you might have skin that's coming down here and covering up all of that liner. You can still do completely beautiful winged liner on hooded eyes. You just needed a different technique. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. Now you can use either a liquid or a gel for a more dramatic look, but I actually love using a powder eyeshadow and an angled brush for beginners and mature skin. It's not going to have the same longevity as a liquid or a gel. So I do set mine with this setting spray, but the reason I love using an eyeshadow powder is because it's just so much easier to clean up. So I feel like when you're learning, it's so much easier. And on mature skin, it's just so soft looking. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay. This is their number three palette. And I'm going to be using this shade right here called Dark Side. It's sort of a satiny gray. And this is the BK Beauty 208 brush. If you're trying to figure out which direction to send wing liner, what I like to do is use my lower lash line and that will give you a really great guide. And if you're still trying to figure out how to line it up so that it's even on both sides, which is I think one of the hardest things to do in all of makeup, I like to use the outside of my nose and line that up with my lower lash line. And that really helps me make sure that things are going to be even. I like to start out by looking straight ahead into the mirror. I'm not going to tilt back yet. So looking straight ahead. And now again, I'm still looking straight ahead. I'm going to draw right over this hooded skin and I'm going to connect it to the top part of my crease. I try to keep this as small as I can. The first time you do this, it's going to feel so weird drawing over the skin. It's just a very strange feeling. And now I'm gonna bring that down to my lash line. And this gives us a good basic outline for the shape. So now when you tilt back, you'll see you have all of this floating up here. And what I like to do is start to fill in along my lash line. And I do try to keep this as close as I can really getting this in between my lashes so that it doesn't take up too much of this lid space. And now my eyes are medium set, meaning they have a pretty equal distance between them and the outside of my face. So I generally like to line right here up until the beginning of my natural lashes. If your eyes are wide set and you wanna bring them a little bit closer together, you can bring your liner all the way in right here to the front part of your eyes. If your eyes are closer together and you want them visually widened, I recommend to stop the liner right about here. So now I'm going to take this bottom line and connect it to that liner we just did. You'll essentially have a winged liner here on the bottom and then the shape of another top of a triangle on the top. So what I like to do is just close that off, fill that in, and then this is a super geometric shape, which is pretty, but it's not necessarily my style. I like a little bit more classic makeup. So I'm taking the brush one more time, and now I will tilt my head back, and I'm just bringing that into the crease a little bit. Now I know it can still be pretty geometric, so grab a clean blending brush. This one is from ColourPop. So you can see how once I start to blend it out, to me at least, it looks a little bit more like a shadow and a little bit less like a geometric shape or a cut crease. One other thing I wanna mention, I do find it easier to pull everything in. All right, so I have this line. It lines up with the outside of my nose, my lower lash line, and it heads out and up. Let's move to the other side and try to do that in real time. We're gonna say a prayer. So far, 
so good. <laughs> Let's keep this going. I'm looking forward and drawing right down over the hooded skin. It feels so strange, but just go with me on this. And then I'm gonna fill in at my lash line. Connect the lower line with that liner. And so now I'll tilt back to do that. Tilt back one more time. Close off this triangle. Fill that in. And now I'm going to connect this with my crease. So you can see I needed to lean back a little bit more there so it got a little splotchy. And again, I'm just blending that out. So you can see it actually goes pretty quickly once you have the shape down. Grab a Q-tip, it does not have to be pointed. This is the Bioderma Sensibo Light, which is great for all skin types. So as mentioned, you really wanna make sure that this is totally, totally saturated because you don't wanna have any harsh cotton dragging across your skin. And then you can just go in and really neaten things up the nice thing about using lotion is you can just dab it into your skin. I already have mascara on my upper lashes, so what I'm going to do, grab your lash curler. Just like with my other daytime tutorial, I'm going to take the curler and then ever so slightly tilt it up at the outside. So one more time, I'm holding it straight and now I'm tilting it up. And I wanna to try to get my lashes going in with the liner so that it's really cohesive looking. All right, let me go finish up the rest of my makeup. I'll be right back. As you can see, I've finished up the rest of my makeup. Then I'm going to grab my setting spray. This is the Scandinavia setting spray. I love this one. I love the Urban Decay. Really wanna make sure that all of that eyeshadow gets covered with the setting spray so that it lasts. Because as mentioned, powder just won't last as long as a liquid or as a cream. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, if it was helpful to you, please take a second to give it a thumbs up right now. And that will help the video, that helps the YouTube algorithm so that it keeps showing it to other people. If not, it just goes into the YouTube dungeon <laughs> away forever and we never know where it will go. Also, I would love if you would text it to a friend who has been trying to figure out winged liner. So that is everything. Thank you so much. If you do have any more questions, if there's anything that needs clarifying, make sure to ask below. I do try to answer as much as I can. All right, I will see you in the next video. Bye.